earlier I had shown you all my uh, seed choices for this year's garden and um, here we are about two weeks ago it was time for me to start my um, tomato pepper and eggplant seeds to um, you know get the plants going just about in time to put them in the ground so start out a bucket of uh, miracle Grow potting soil and um, as you can see I had to work inside usually I do it outside but this year was just too cold um, outside to do anything it's been strange weather and I got these little seed um, packs that I used to start them in um, I've been using these probably for you know probably about seven or eight years now and they stand up well and um, they're real good good and they just kind of stack up to put away at the end of the season so you know, I just started by spreading some of them out for the tomatoes and just went through and put a little bit of um, potting soil in each one there and just tried to pick out the um, you know any of the big stuff and break up the lumps and stuff so all these little um, these little cell pack things are full and I got my seeds out and I'm all ready to go. In the meantime, I had gone to my local dollar store and picked up a um, couple batches of different sized uh, these little wooden, uh, they call them craft sticks or whatnot, but um, they're real handy I find to help keep track of everything. Um, although sometimes uh, you can get a batch of them that actually will kind of rot off before the seeds start. So um, I also make a little chart showing where everything goes but basically what I do is I start off by um, taking each of these uh, little pots and I try to put five seeds in each pot to um, to get started um, I'll break them up later but uh, five seems to be a good number where you can um, I can pull them out and not hurt the roots or anything so um, you know in some of the, the packs of seeds you may only get 20 25 seeds on some of the newer varieties and stuff so you really does pay to I've got a pair of tweezers that I use all the time and um, you know it takes a couple of minutes extra to, to pick them out and uh, stick them in the pot but I find it easiest for me to you know not have to waste any seeds by doing it this way I put the seeds in the pot and then just um, you know pack it down a little bit there and just continue on um, until I basically have all of my uh, different tomato varieties planted when it comes to uh, gardening you know it's one of the things that where you just basically do the uh, the same thing over and over again each year at about the same time so we've got all the tomatoes peppers and eggplant seeds um, placed in the pots there and as I said I draw a little diagram of what's where just to be safe because I've gotten them mixed up before and um, I put some you know just some numbers on the tray so I you know I won't have a problem later on and then um, everything's all ready to go I'll just add, add a little bit of water to each of the, the cells there and um, you know rehydrate that dried out potting soil yeah, I just use plain tap water at this point in time um, once the seedlings do uh, germinate and start to grow I will add a little bit of miracle grow to the uh, water so there they are all watered up and ready to go so just going to take a couple big plastic bags that I found to um, slide each of these trays into. Um, I just want to try to keep the moisture in and uh, keep a little bit of the heat in to uh, get the germination. Make it happen a little bit quicker there. So um, just slide them each in a plastic bag and then kind of just try to close it up a little bit. And move them over under the grow light. And, I put the lights right down against it just to get the heat from the grow lights to um, you know kind of heat up the seeds and give them give them a good start because they don't have any of the heat mats to use under them so those seeds you know basically the tomatoes the peppers and the uh, couple of eight different eggplants are all in and a couple of months ago I did a, um, a video about starting lettuce for the year and this basically is you know what we were down to about a week ago and uh, basically now I've harvested it all but we have enjoyed really um, picking really fresh lettuce for the last uh, probably two months and um, it's, uh, it's a real treat it uh, has so much more flavor than anything you can buy and uh, you know, there's no contamination in it. Like um, I, I heard that the romaine has a problem right now with, um, you know, certain bacteria and stuff like that. Where you just don't get that when you um, you grow it at home, and it's it's just so easy to grow, and it's um, you know, it's just a great addition to a a wintertime meal. 
And it's one thing that I found really does grow uh, well under grow lights. It's very easy to grow, so everybody should try it at least once. Well, here we are about a week later. The, um, the tomatoes have germinated. You can see pretty much um, getting ready now to move them up into the cups that I put them in. Um, these styrofoam cups, I've been using the same batch now for about five or six years. And, um, you know, the cups still are good. They'll last probably another 10 years if I take it easy on them. So I start by getting a, uh, I just use a small dessert type fork to to pull the, um, the tomatoes out of the pot. And there you can see some of them, you know, have five in it. Some have four, some have three. It depends on the germination rate. But, um, you know, you just have to try and... Dig, use, I use a fork to try to dig straight down and pull the entire root out with it. Um, with tomatoes, it's not really that, you know, you don't have to get it all with tomatoes because they will perk back up in a short amount of time and the, uh, the stems will actually start to put out roots too. So, But I do like using these pots. Um, and there you say each one out, now at this point, I'll just put another a little bit bigger um, piece of wood in there with the label on it. But I do like using these styrofoam cups. They, um, they give a good, uh, they're nice and deep for the uh, roots to allow, you know, allow the roots to grow down three, four inches there compared to uh, the shorter cells. They just, you know, you get maybe two inches of root and that's it. So I do find that the, uh, I think I get healthier seedlings, but that's just, you know, my take on it. So here it is, uh, just starting to move. Um, once the tomatoes start getting four leaves on them, they put out the second set of leaves is when I start breaking them up and just move each one to its individual cup. And there's a, I have these plastic uh, storage bins I found that hold 24 of the cups perfectly. So, um, you know, that holds everything, makes it easy to handle. And there's all my tomatoes transplanted and... Um, you know, you can see they're all droopy and everything now, but they'll pick up in a couple of days. And then I have the peppers down on the bottom, and um, it's pretty cold out this year. And um, I didn't have great germination on the peppers, but uh, I still have enough, you know, plants probably to get me through the season. So, same thing with the peppers now. I'm going to start breaking up the packs um, and putting them in the individual cups. Uh, peppers really, if you really do germinate better if you have a uh, a little bit of heat under them but um usually i put them on top of the refrigerator to get them to germinate but this year i didn't i just left them under the lights and as you can see it's kind of spotty so far so same thing i did with the tomatoes i just try to get them. the peppers you really should try to get as much root as you possibly can be real careful when you dig them out and transplant them but um, the, uh, you know, they all, they all do good in the end though. So there's, uh, peppers and eggplants now all transplanted. And, um, you know, so here we are, just have to wait a couple days for them to go in there and start to perk up a little bit. All right, and here they are like two days later, you can see they're all, all pretty much standing tall, starting to, um, starting to grow a little bit and look a little bit healthier now. So in the meantime, I, it, it did warm up enough outside that I could get my salad beds up by the house. I've got these uh, couple of raised beds up here that I use for all the salad greens and stuff. So I got um, I got one on full of spinach, and then I got some uh, kale in one, and I've got some carrots, beets, uh, rainbow chard, um, bok choy, pak choy, and about eight different types of lettuce is all started now. So... Hopefully it won't get any really hard for us that will wipe it out. But someday I'm going to make some like plastic greenhouse covers for these because they are facing directly south and do get full sun. And, you know, here you kind of see my backyard that uh, that shelter that I had by my garden is totally gone. The cover got ripped to shreds this year. We had about a week of 70 mile an hour winds and that did that. And so maybe that greenhouse conversion will have to start this summer. And then I um, finally was able to get my lawn roller out and get that ready to go. You can see how that kabuta hitch that I made, uh, you know, it was really easy to use any kind of implement behind it. You just flip it and twist it. 
and that suspension seat that I actually put on about exactly a year ago um, that has been one of my best investments ever uh, it's just so comfortable to use and it just makes you know mowing a fun job so this roller holds I think about 55 or a little more gallons of water and it does take a while to fill it up and you just fill it up and then there's like a little rubber expansion plug that goes in the hole and you tighten the nut and that just kind of squeezes the rubber, makes it expand and seal the hole off so you can get to rolling. Here we are. It's, hard, it's really hard to tell, but um, my yard really does just kind of pop up all over the place with um, like rocks and um, I don't know, somehow they just come up out of the ground over the winter and then also um, a lot of little bumps from like where skunks start to uh, dig the the grubs out this time of year and stuff like that is the ground to frost so I'm uh, you know I'm starting my rolling now and gonna get go over it at least once now and then I'll wait for the next train and run over it again and that'll be done and, and I've also got stuff like uh, take gathering firewood and stuff like that that I still have to try to squeeze in before everything else gets going it's just been a um, rather strange spring um march and april just were so cold uh you really couldn't do much outside so anyhow um here's my tomatoes a couple days later and you know as you can see they're really starting to look real good and uh you know about another four weeks they'll be ready four to five weeks they'll be ready to go in the garden and hopefully soon we'll start getting some warm sunny days where I can actually move these outside and start to get them growing a little faster and start to harden them off. But there you can see the peppers are way behind, but at least they're growing. Um, they look pretty good right now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.